What's up everyone, ODC it's me here, and be sure to check out BigBoyCollectibles.com for all your action figure needs, whether it's DC Collectibles, Star Wars The Black Series, Marvel Legends, or G.I. Joe, BigBoyCollectibles.com will have it. Yo, Joe! What's going on everyone, ODC it's me here, and today's review we're going to take a look at Star Wars The Black Series, the Scarif Stormtrooper squad leader this is technically the shore trooper uh scarif i believe is the name of the planet that they're going to be um having a, a battle on of sorts uh during rogue one but this is part of the rogue one i believe this is wave two of rogue one for 2016. um you can pick this wave up i believe upcoming uh, will be on uh, bigboycollectibles.com so if you want to check that out um, he also has other Star Wars Black Series 6 inch figures in stock and some 3 and 3 quarter inch figures in stock. So check that out, bigboycollectibles.com. Um, but uh, this is, like I said, a part of Wave 2. We've got the new style Black Series logo and everything. We've got a picture of the Scarif squad leader right here. Or I should say, Shore Trooper squad leader. Anyway, on the side it says. Figure number 28 in the, in the uh, ongoing series. On the back, it has a nice little read up. I'm going to pause it and read it. Go ahead. And let's not waste any more time. We will get the Scarab Trooper out of packaging and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back with the Shore Trooper Squad Leader out of packaging, and uh, I really like this figure. It looks really good. Um, I guess this is just a, basically a reuse of this body, uh, of the Hover Tank figure's body, since he was released first. Um, so there's that to point out. Um, obviously, the, the head is different. The belts are different, and obviously the paint apps are going to be different because it's a different type of trooper. But I don't mind the reused parts because it's a. Uh, I believe they're going to be stationed on probably the same planet, is my guess. I don't know that's that's not a fact, uh, but I'm I'm guessing if they're both ground troops, they would probably be similarly uh, um, armored. So they're a lighter armored troop. Especially these guys will probably be running around and you don't want a ton of armor on you. Um, so, But these guys look pretty badass. I I dig that we actually got, um, like w with him, he got kind of like an updated E-11 blaster for the hover tank pilot. And then um, he actually has a different rifle from the Death Troopers, which I will bring in the Death Trooper right now. And as you can see here, they are two different rifles. I'm not sure what the technical name is for either one of these blaster rifles, but I'm sure we'll find out in due time. So there's that to point out as well. Uh, I really do like uh, the look of this guy though. He, um, if just taking off his uh, rifle here, as you can see, he does come in this tan look and uh, it's coming off a little bit. I'm not sure how it's coming off in, you know, the finalized uh, video, but He's a little bit of a, a darker tan than what it looks like on camera. It looks like a lighter tan from what I'm looking at. I'm pretty sure these three yellow dots are on the regular trooper as well. The only difference between this trooper and the regular trooper is this um, little, looks like a U, like a, a yellow U right here. Um, and then we have obviously the blue, and I believe this might be the rank uh, the blue and the, the white stripe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Like I said, nothing has been finalized yet. Nothing has been told to us, so I don't know. When I do find out the facts, I will uh, maybe I'll make a video about these new troopers. But um, he does have this little insignia right here on the side of his helmet. Uh, helmet is pretty pretty well sculpted. I do like it a lot, and here's the differences in the helmet. If you just want to take a look between the hover tank pilot here and the shore trooper. Um, trying to think of what else. I do like the the skirt. It doesn't really get in the way. It's a pliable plastic, so you can get him out to do the splits as much as he can, which is about that far. Um, so it doesn't like hinder anything. Or if you want to get him to bend his knees, 
you can get him to bend his knees and it kind of just gets out of the way. So it doesn't hinder any articulation or range of motion, which is good. And uh, originally when I saw this figure, I thought that it was actually gonna be hindered, but it's not, so awesome. As far as his articulation does go, his head does swivel full 360 rotation. His head can look up nicely. Um, and if you wanna tilt it back and then look up a little bit more, you get a little bit more of a range of motion there in the head. So he can really look up very well. Um, he can look down, and like I said, if you wanna just jive that turkey forward, gobble, gobble, there you go, he's looking down. He also has a head tilt, side to side. And we got some jive turkeys like I just said. Okay. Um, the arms do go up nicely, and even if you end up getting uh, caught like I just did there, um, you just kind of want to push that armor plate down. And these are a nice pliable plastic as well. Nice soft plastic, which actually works really well for rubbing and everything like that. So it's, if it's a harder plastic, it's going to chip. But um, his arms get up, go up that far, full 360 rotation. He has a single bend at the elbow, nice 90 degree angle right there. A little bit more than 90 degrees, just a, by a hair. But he does have a swivel there at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. He does have an, a hinge at the wrist, which goes back and forth, which I say left and right, while this one goes up and down, perfect for kind of getting him to look down the sights on his blaster rifle, which is awesome. He does have a, a uh, diaphragm joint, but he can crunch forward nicely, and he does crunch back nicely as well. He can pivot side to side, swivel as well. Like I said, he does have T-joint hips. They don't, they're not the best T-jointed hips though, and this is pretty much the limit right here. Legs go forward. They don't really go back due to the sculpting of the rear end and the skirt kind of getting in the way a little bit. But if you if you push on it just a just a little bit, not I'm not even using that much pressure here. You can get his leg to go back. He does have an upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee. And he does have the ankle pivot, which does, which does go forward just like a hair, um, but mostly just goes back. And then he does have the ankle pivot and two peg holes. So that is pretty much it as far as this guy goes. Like I said, he's pretty much a, a reuse of the hover tank pilot, which we've seen. Um, and the hover tank pilot is a Toys R Us exclusive. So, and he was released first on Force Friday, I believe. I'll just give you guys a quick 360 here. I mean, this guy looks like, uh, he looks like he's in, in control. He looks pretty awesome. And I can't wait to get some more of these. Look really cool. Um, now, just taking a closer look at the blaster rifle, which is the last thing I want to look at here. It's pretty much just like a uh, uh, charcoal gray or like a dark, dark gray color for plastic. And then you have a little bit of paint apps right here with the red little, I'm not sure what that is, like a button or something, I don't know. Um, and then you have some silver paint right here on the barrels. So that's pretty cool. And I'm pretty interested in to see what this blaster rifle can actually do. Hopefully we get it in Star Wars Battlefront, the video game as well. That would be nice since they are we are getting a Scarif DLC coming in December, which will be nice to get some Scarif Troopers too. Um, but with that being said, uh, that's pretty much it. I would definitely give it two thumbs up. Um, this is the upcoming wave probably at the end of this month, which is October, beginning of November. So be patient. Don't go crazy and spend a lot of money. Um, and uh, I'm sure Big Boy Collectibles will have them in stock and you shouldn't have any problem checking that out. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always and I'll see you guys on the flip side.